At least two people have died as record breaking flooding hits parts of the Midwest. A fast moving river brought down a railroad bridge in northwest Iowa and waters partially breached a dam in Minnesota. CBS News' Jonah Kaplan tells us residents may need to evacuate. In southern Minnesota, an ominous warning by officials about the Rapidan Dam. They say it's an imminent failure condition after flooding and debris partially breached this 114-year-old structure along the Blue Earth River. But so far, no mandatory evacuations have been issued. We have about 18 inches of rain over the last couple of weeks. Um, what's happened is we've inundated the ground. There's nowhere for it to go. It was a similar scene here along the Iowa-South Dakota state line. A train bridge connecting the two states collapsed after being overtaken by the rising Big Sioux River, which reached a record high water level of roughly 45 feet. And 100 miles to the northeast, the city of Spencer, Iowa, is only now starting to emerge from the receding floodwaters of the nearby Little Sioux River, which crested nearly six feet above its previous record. And already you can see how high the water was and how much lower it's gotten. Those cars were fully submerged. Still, the disaster, it's really only just begun. Most of these folks here, they don't have flood insurance. Jeremy and Sarah Fry took us inside their home as they surveyed the damage. It got up to the fifth step. Sarah, a lifelong local, told us she's never experienced anything like this before in Spencer. What goes through your mind when you walk through this? I'm still in a distraught, like a shock. I mean, yes, I've cried about it and stuff, but it's just insane to see what water can do. This might be for trains, but a couple miles from here, the interstate, I-29, that's also closed for flooding, and the detour around it, it's nearly an hour out of the way. There are still flood warnings for about a dozen waterways, according to the National Weather Service, and those rivers, they flow into the Mississippi and the Missouri, both of which are still rising. In Sioux City, Iowa, Jonah Kaplan, CBS News.